been part of the show. Joe's up next. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow in for Sarah again. Same time, same place. Maybe you can find this and all sorts of mixes like the Shiny Happy Playlist on BBC Sounds. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app. On your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. See you tomorrow. BBC News at 7 o'clock. This is Claire Ronacres. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, has painted an optimistic picture of the economy as he set out his budget aimed at boosting growth and getting people back to work. In the Commons this afternoon, he promised 30 hours of free childcare for parents of children aged from nine months to two years old and said he would scrap the lifetime allowance on tax-free pension contributions. John Glenn, the Chief Secretary to the Treasury, explained the government's reasoning behind the plans. The logic is focused primarily around the challenge we face with doctors, senior doctors and consultants in the NHS who have left the workforce at a critical time for the NHS when we have significant backlogs. We also have to recognise that this needs to be done urgently. This has been something that the BMA have been asking for for a long time. They've very much welcomed it and I'm very pleased that we've been able to do this because I want people to stay working in the NHS. Jeremy Hunt used the budget to highlight official forecasts showing that the UK will avoid going into a recession this year. He also said that inflation would fall back below 3% by the end of 2023. But Labour accused the government of dressing up stagnation as stability. Jonathan Reynolds is the Shadow Business Secretary. Every single budget for the last decade or more has been pretty depressing, to be honest. A Labour budget, if it was being delivered today, would be about jobs and wages. We would have abolished the non-DOM rule and invested in the NHS workforce. We'd have come out and said, we'll build the the battery factory so the automotive industry stays in the UK. We'll make sure there's a future for the steel industry because the state's going to be a partner in that. We're going to be a a clean energy superpower. We're not going to be exposed to volatile gas prices ever again. Strikes across a number of sectors threatened to overshadow the budget. As it was unveiled, hundreds of picket lines were in place, with teachers, junior doctors, civil servants and local BBC journalists walking out. Shares in Credit Suisse have plunged to a record low in the wake of last week's collapse of Silicon Valley Bank in the US. The Swiss bank, which has been beset by problems, saw its share price fall by as much as 30% at one point, but it insists its financial position is not a concern. Susanna Streeter is from the investment firm Hargreaves Lansdowne. That's not to say that there is a systemic risk for the banking sector as a whole, but it certainly seems as though investors are honing in on fragilities. It's like a -a whack-a-mole scenario. You might have solved a problem in one part of the financial system, and now it appears that other problems are springing up. Russia says it will try to retrieve the wreckage of the American drone that crashed into the Black Sea yesterday. Washington says Russian military jets intercepted the aircraft, causing it to crash, something Moscow denies. And a court in Italy has sentenced a mafia boss to nearly 13 years in prison for extortion and leading a criminal organisation. Maria Licardi, who's 71, had been nicknamed the Little One because of her short stature. The weather, rain will spread into the west this evening, staying dry but cloudy in the east. BBC News, it's three minutes past seven. Thanks, Claire. Joe Wiley's Shiny Happy Playlist. There's going to be big tunes. Blowing the roof off radio too. Shiny Happy. If you want to get absolutely bouncing. This is where it's at. BBC Radio 2. Yeah, we've got the energy to bounce, I think, tonight. Hi, welcome to the show, everybody. Thank you, OJ, for being brilliant over the last couple of hours on Radio 2. And I hope you're well as you listen to the show. Uh, Stick around. We've got live music on the programme tonight. I'll tell you more about that after we all together enjoy the Shiny Happy Playlist. The Shiny Happy Playlist on BBC Radio 2.